Hello Afford Plane Builders, this is Terry. We've got some recent developments with my Afford Plane. We recently installed a Power Fin 61 inch tri blade prop. It was recommended by Recreational Power in Ohio, same people who manufacture the engine or distribute the engine. Uh, we've got some electrical work done. But finally got these motor mounts worked out. Now there's one little uh, thing that I wonder about and that's the size of the washer I'm using on top of these berry mounts. Uh, didn't come with any, uh, at least mine didn't and if you think they're too small let me know but that's what I'm using currently. Up here we have the wiring that I've been working on the last couple of days. Master switch, ignition one, ignition two and that's our engine information system that was installed. Also new is the fuel tank which we purchased from Summit Racing. It's a five gallon tank grounded to the frame of the airplane. Two outlets down here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to get me some 90 degree to come up under the seat. Uh, those currently are real close to the seat, can't come straight out. So some 90 degree elbows will take care of that. And we have a nice locking gas cap. Okay, you don't want to go in there. Let's close that back down. Cable work is done. I think I've already shown that in previous videos for the ailerons. Now this here, our fuel pump, according to the instructions, needs to be mounted somewhere within about six inches of this little pipe right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to fabricate something to go here or if I put it on a firewall, if that'll be good enough. Again, any opinions on that? Glad to hear them. Carburetors are uh, on and tightened down. Exhaust temperature probes. EGTs. And also the CHT, which comes in on the other side. Got our solenoid down there with our battery and starter powered in. No battery yet. Still debating on what type of battery and where it's going to be located. Need to get some scales or something so I can do a preliminary CG to see where I'm at. There's our fuse box. All of the 12 volt power supplies will come in on the right side and exit on the left. Back here we've installed us a push button starter. That's our warning light for the engine information system. Push button. Chunk, chunk. And here you'll see my uh, otter box, an old otter box. Uh, I guess you call that a belt holder, but I uh, clipped it all off. It's <clears throat> riveted into the firewall so that I can just put my phone in there and use a uh, EFIS. E EFIS app that I have seems to be very good auto levels and everything it's not going to be super precise but it's a start on here you got a bungee cord that's just on there holding the elevator in place so it doesn't sit there and droop we have cats that run around speak of the devil there's one of them don't like them climbing up on this airplane Another thing I decided to change uh, was the tail wheel. I did not like the idea of a shopping cart tail wheel, although I'm sure it probably would have suited fine. But this is the Matco tail wheel. I purchased that at Aircraft Spruce and some preliminary hookups right now. Uh, experimenting with the spring setup that I have on there. That may change in the future, but it seems to work with my RC airplane, so I don't know. We'll see. Tail is covered. Wings are in the garage, not covered. And we just have some simple little cable ties here as guide for our rudder cable. And I opted to go ahead and place my bell crank for the elevator support right here I was able to utilize 
some existing hookup that I already had. That's just a piece of angle aluminum coming up on the top and built just per the plans is the bell crank. I have to say I'm really impressed with that prop. Here's another one of my little creations. I built this hand fabricated. It's made out of floral foam, epoxy, resin, and fiberglass. And you can see it, ha it has a uh, aluminum tube inside of it and it's riveted down to my main yoke, my main stick. Alright, now I'm going to back out a little bit so you guys can kind of get an overall. Really happy I've got functioning rudders, functioning elevators, functioning bell crank for the ailerons. Just about to the point once I get some uh, throttle. And I haven't decided on what kind of throttle I want to do yet. I've uh, thought about possibly doing a Cessna style throttle with a friction lock. But I've also seen where some builders are putting the throttle down on the side of the seat. And I certainly have a place to mount it to as I've reinforced my seat with this angle aluminum. Uh, it just wasn't doing it back here. It seemed to tilt back too much for me. And this really stiffened it up. But if I get some carriage bolts back here with a round head so they don't puncture the seat, I could probably mount a lever style throttle quadrant right there. Or not necessarily quadrant, but at least one throttle. One into two for my twin bean carbs. So engine's never been fired, has zero time on it. As of right now, it's a brand new engine. Um, we haven't even put oil inside the uh, gearbox yet. So that's one thing we have to do before we do our, our first startup. I have the uh, propeller pitched at 14 degrees. Uh, per the manual, it says that's a good starting point. We'll find out. I have a feeling that... Uh, my Afforda plane is going to be a little more overpowered. That's a 53 horsepower earth engine. So climb out shouldn't be a problem. I really doubt we're going to be running full throttle with this engine. Unless we just want to really climb. Okay guys. That's eight minutes. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now. This is Terry in Houston, Texas. Let me know if you got any ideas, comments. Appreciate it. Thanks.